Hey guys, Coach Amelia Dear here. Sorry, it's been so while, Soul Family. I know it's been a couple of days. Um, I just been getting things together and just taking some time. You know, we always need time to just. Woo-sa. I said woo-sa. I said regroup. Um, and I have a great topic for you guys today. And I'm just, I'm, I'm laughing a little bit because I was just basically like, you know, reflecting, like looking back and seeing, you know, just, you, just, you know, sometimes you just want to see how far you came, you know? So it's okay sometimes to just take a little sneak back at what you've been doing, seeing where you can improve, seeing, you know, just, just checking yourself out, you know, guys do check yourself out. I mean, not just look in the mirror, but like, do you check yourself out? Like, do you check yourself, you know, like, okay, let's see if I'm, 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 you know what I'm saying? Let me see if I'm staying on cue here. And so I was basically, I was watching one of my like first, first videos and guys, I'm telling y'all growth is a real thing. Like when you really doing something consistently and you trust the process is really, really, really important. And so you know, don't be so hard on yourself when you're looking back, but don't forget to just look back and, and, and see, you know, where was I here mentally? You know, like, was I really, you know, cause we got to Sometimes we got to take steps before we get to the, the, the goal or we kind of get a, a better vision, a better visual, you know? So sometimes our vision seems clear when we're starting and as we are going, you know, doing the steps and doing the work, our vision becomes more clear. You know, we become more comfortable. We become just polished, you know, in a sense, like, it, and, and it could go with anything. Like, if you're starting a business, right, and maybe you, maybe you start with, like, your logo, you know. And that's a great example because um, when I started my first business, I think I, st- I, I went through three different logos, um, and so the first logo I had, you know, when I first got it, I loved it. You know, I was just like, whoo, yeah. And it, I mean, when you first do anything with your, with your business, it's going to look good to just see it in, in print, you know? And then as you progress, you just realize like, okay, I could, I could sharpen this up a little bit. I could do a little update, you know? So, um, I know in my last video, I was talking about updating your body, but sometimes we also update our goals you know we update our business we update our craft we update whatever it is that we're focusing on we update it you know and so um basically that's what I I guess as I was looking back I'm like let me see where I could do an update because maybe I didn't share the message as good as I could have and maybe I could redo it and so I went and I saw this one video because it was kind of short too. It was like eight minutes. I was just like, eight minutes? What would you even talk about? You know, like that's kind of short to get a point across. So, you know, I went and I was just um, looking at the video and I was cracking up because, you know, you can just see like when you, when you're, when you're speaking and you're connecting with people, the, the passion grows you know so as you're talking about it and you just get into it you know you just could see like okay i could have said this i could have said that it's similar to like you have a kind of have an argument with somebody and it's unexpected and then you uh as you leave you look back you're like oh i should have said this oh i should have said that but you already kind of like left like it's done already so you know, the most you could do is future reference is, is just be a little bit more, I don't know, whatever it is that you didn't do. So it's it's similar to that when you do doing updates on your brand, you're doing updates um, with your career, you know, like sometimes we we look at where we where we at and we see how far we come and then we see how far we can actually go, you know, like, okay, we got, I got to this point, I've been doing this, I've been doing that. Now, what else what what else can I do to just be a better version of myself? Okay? So as we're growing and we're rich, reaching for millionaire status and we're reaching for just living a happier life, we always want to see uh, where we can improve. Don't ever get to a point and then feel like, all right, 
master. You know what I mean? Like, it's, you, well, we always want to be humble, you know? And then we, we're, we're humans. We're meant to evolve and we're meant to go to new levels. So don't ever feel like you shouldn't go to a new level, you know, because you came to one level, you know? It's just like, let's keep going. Let's keep building. Let's keep going. Let's keep building. Okay, and that just leads to the the topic that I really wanted to talk about um, was just dealing, I guess, dealing with toxic people in a sense. I'm going to just bubble it in. Um, Sometimes we attract toxic people and sometimes we don't know how to walk away from toxic people, you know, and so I'm going to just touch on some tips and, you know, tips and tips so you can know if either you are toxic or if you just, you know, may have a lot of people, toxic people around you and it's just, it's just stopping your growth. A lot of times we think we ready to grow, we ready to do this, but we are still focused on um, toxicity and toxicity, guys, think of it like this, like, say... Think of it like a recall. You ever notice how like, um, not not a recall. Let's say, let's think of it like let's let's say we we baking a cake, right? This is perfect, guys. Say we baking a cake, and you know you got to follow the ingredients. But say you accidentally spill, uh, let's say we spill. What's what's not in cake? What would make a cake nasty? hot sauce, all right? Say you doing, you baking the cake, you getting the ingredients, and then you actually just put some hot sauce in there, like just a drop. You know, it's going to shift the, the, the formula of that cake. That cake is not going to be sweet. You know what I mean? I don't know about y'all, but I don't think I ever had a spicy cake. You know, like I don't think I ever want hot sauce cake. <laughs> so say you baking the cake and you accidentally grab the hot sauce instead of the oil or something like that, and you bake the cake. There's no cutting out, you know what I mean? Like when you when the cake is done, you can't cut out the hot sauce. It's, it's baked in, you know what I mean? You have to get a whole new, you got to get a whole new pan. You got to just make a whole new batch, okay? So toxic people are like hot sauce and cake. And hot sauce don't go in cake. It just don't. It don't. I know we're going to have that one or two people that like hot sauce in their cake, but that's all right. Because we, we ain't talk about you. We, we don't like hot sauce in our cake over here. You know what I mean? So toxic people are like hot sauce to your dreams and your goals. Okay? Let's say that again, y'all. Toxic people is like hot sauce. Woo! Okay? To your cake. And your cake is your dreams and your goal is your it's your baby. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's sweet, it's soft, it's it's beautiful, you know, and we don't want hot sauce on it. We don't. We're gonna we're gonna put the hot sauce back on the shelf and we're gonna wait till we need some wings and then we're gonna grab the hot sauce. But if if we don't want no wings with the cake, we just don't need it. Okay? We don't need it. Okay, so guys, understand. If you're trying to grow and you have worked on yourself, okay, you don't have hot sauce in your cake. Your cake got the eggs, the butter, you know, the sugar, okay? You got everything you need, the extra milk or I don't know however y'all make cake. It's your cake. <laughs> but, you know, if your cake is already, you know, sweet <laughs> and good, then you don't you don't need someone around you that's going to try to bring you down you know that's gonna try to spice you up but not in a good way you know because you could be spicy or you could be spicy you know and we don't want to be spicy you know what i mean we 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 got growing to do you know spicy is like you know in this term that i'm using it in it's more like negative you know Dummy down, dummy downer. I don't know if I say that right. Um, you know, not looking at the bright side of things. More looking at the 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 itchy side of things. You know, so 
it's very, very important to really keep a boundary between hot sauce people and your cake. Because one dab of that hot sauce, mama, you got to get a whole new batch. So think of it like this. Say your mental health is the eggs to your cake, okay? And then the oil is maybe your body. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and everything together, you know, that makes the cake. And then the cake is you. So you want to protect your cake. You want to protect yourself so that you always good, okay? Because if you don't protect yourself and you let that hot sauce come in, it's, it's not good. It guys, it's simple. <laughs> that is simple as that. I know that's a, a great analogy, but take it seriously. Because we could be going about our day, sweet, you know what I mean? Happy. Oh, well, that scared me. <laughs> we could be going about our day, sweet, happy, um, driven, ready. And as soon as we pick up that hot sauce, it's over. You know, now we now we thinking negative. Now we procrastinating. Now we engaging in <clears throat> we engaging in things that we shouldn't be engaging in. You know, we should be focused on growing. We should be focused on uh, applying. We should be focused on just regrouping. You know, we should be focused on everything that's gonna allow us to taste better as a cake. You know what I mean? Like anything that's going to better you, anything that's going to lift you up. Definitely if you if you're dealing with mental health issues, you know, like maybe you over, overcame them, maybe you're still battling anxiety, maybe you're still battling depression, maybe you're still battling, you know, childhood issues. You get what I'm saying? So, if you are still trying to grow and work on yourself every single day, you, you can't afford to risk it to try to entertain hot sauce. It just doesn't make sense, okay? And a lot of times we try to, you know, feed into, you know, someone negative and lift them up, but maybe they not ready. You know, sometimes it's not our job to Try to just take on a role of helping everybody, helping everybody, helping everybody. Because you, you can spread yourself real thin. And, the, and sometimes the best way to help someone is to stand as that example. Is to stand by that example and continue to do what you're going to do. You know, be positive, be uplifting, and, and sometimes walking away. And that's the hard part. That's what we're going to talk about. When to walk away. When when do you draw the line and walk away from this toxic toxic person? I say, personally, you always want to give people the benefit of the doubt. You know, you always want to give them a, give them chances, keep an open mind, just you know, see how things play out, and give it time. And over time, if you continue to be disappointed or you continue to be let down from that person, then nine times out of 10, it's time to just walk away. It's time to just walk away. And the first time you walk away from someone toxic, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little hurtful, you know, because we still have that love for them in our heart. But sometimes you gotta just, you gotta just hold it together. And if you really love the person, you can try to, you know, have that conversation. But you got to know, you got to really know who you who you talking to. Because if someone is toxic and always ready to, you know, steal your energy, sometimes saying nothing is saying a lot. Because if you sit down and you express your feelings uh, and they're not willing to care about your feelings they're not they're not willing to kind of like make some changes or be considerate then sometimes it's, it just it's no point it's pointless because you're going to drain yourself out you're going to drink you're going to drag out a situation that it doesn't even need that much dragging <laughs> believe it or not like sometimes we we like feed into stuff that we shouldn't 
And if you're trying to keep your cake sweet, you know what I mean? You're trying to stay positive and, and do the right thing, then there, there's no need to even stoop down and, and argue with someone and try to get them to see your point. Because if you're working on yourself and you done gave them tries and tries again, you don't even need to say nothing. It's kind of, it's kind of obvious. My, my battery, the battery low. It's kind of obvious, you know, like, hey, you see, I've been doing this. And you see, I've been doing this. And nine times out of 10, someone toxic, they're not going to really want to show you support. You know, you're going to be making all these changes, doing all this great stuff, glowing. You're going to be losing weight. You're going to be, it's going to be evident, you know. And a lot of times someone toxic, they... They're not going to acknowledge it. They're going to just act like you still the same. They're going to act like they don't see you doing your thing. They're going to just act oblivious. Okay. <laughs> that horn is like, yes. I know y'all hear that horn. Like, yes. You hit it on the note. <laughs> For real. So you don't, you don't want that energy. You don't want that deterring you from what you're doing because it could call it could just cause a, a, a negative vibe you know like when you're doing so much positive and you just moving in a better light they should be happy for you you know they should they should they shouldn't feel like they shouldn't have to say something you know like they should just feel like they should be comfortable with just saying hey congratulations it doesn't hurt to give a compliment to somebody so I don't I don't know why people are toxic. I'm not here to tell you why. <laughs> I'm just here to just help you understand like you have to know when to walk away for you. Cause if you continue to accept, I guess, crumbs <laughs> in a sense, like the friendship isn't even it's not even worth having, you know, like you trying to elevate to new levels you trying to be around positive people you trying to grow and you can't grow if someone is continuously pulling you down because every time you grow you'll you'll have a little thought in the back of your mind like well such and such doesn't even support me you know so maybe i'm doing something wrong it'll cause you to start to, sec to second guess yourself and if you're moving in a positive light and you just focus on you and worry about you, you, you really can't listen to the negative thoughts or pay attention to it. And you have to get rid of things that just continuously cause negative thoughts. Like, why am I thinking about this? Why am I focused on this? Why am I? You know, you, you'll, you'll drive yourself a little crazy. And then you'll start to think you're crazy. And then you'll start to take step back. You know what I mean? Like, we, we don't got time to go backwards, ladies and gentlemen. We do not, we did not come all the way here, do all of this work, focus all of our time, make all these adjustments, sign up for the gym. We didn't do all of this work to then sit around and be like, hmm, maybe I'm doing too much. Too much. You think millionaires say, let me not do too much? No. Successful people do too much. That's what we do. Because we, we always got to be working on this and, and, and doing this. We don't have time to do nothing. Sometimes people make you feel like you're doing too much because you're doing more than them. And when you're doing more than someone who's not doing nothing, of course it looks like too much. But if you compare to what successful people are doing, they're they going to always make you feel like you ain't even doing enough. Okay. So be mindful, guys. That negative thought that you having that's holding yourself back is, is coming from the toxicity you allowing to stay in your life. It's like you looking for them to be a friend and it's like, it's one day I'm a friend, one day I'm not a friend. One day I'm your sis, one day I'm not your sis. Like, remember, confusion is always the sign of the enemy. If you confused about a person and they, they send you mixed signals, they, you know, they not being consistent, they giving you crumbs once again, know your worth. Know what you bring to the table. 
Know what you do for your friends. And if you someone that go all out for your friends and go all out for your family, you should expect the in return. And not for someone to go all out, but you you accept you you expect similar energy. You know what I mean? Showing up when you invite them. Uh, and showing up when they invite you, sorry. You know, or just being supportive. Being supportive is the the best thing you can do in a in a relationship. Friendship, family ship, relationship. Being supportive is one of the best things you can do for a person. Because you gotta understand if you are someone who's working hard and doing this and doing that, and you know how good it feels when someone just genuinely supports you. Someone is always, you know, um, commenting on your post or sharing your post or um, from time to time, they dropping you a keep going. That, that one supporter that says keep going makes you feel like you done took over the world. You know, you like, yeah, I touched someone, I touched one person, you know? So that's how, that's how support makes you feel. You know, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel uplifted. It makes you feel amazing. It makes you feel encouraged. So healthy relationships is a two-way supportive street. And you know you're supportive. Cause you you're not toxic. You know, you don't work on this, you don't have jealousy in your heart, you you motivated, you getting up every day, you giving out compliments, you shining, you know what I mean? So you're supportive and you support them. And you give that energy just because it's like that's my friend, I'm gonna support my friend. That if they if they performing, you supporting them on the stage, you like, yeah, you know, whatever it is. You you go into their graduations, you there for their for their birthday, you thinking of good gifts, you sending texts, you sending cute hello cards, you know what I mean? You you going out of your way to show your friend, I support you, friend. I want you to be great, friend. I want you to do good. You that that support is a, is a good energy that needs to be reciprocated. It needs to be reciprocated in order for it to be a healthy relationship. If it's not reciprocated, gotta let it go. You gotta let it go, because once you let that go, you gonna just catapult. You know what I mean? You gonna just you have a you think of it like this, y'all. It, it's funny, but. You ever have like this baby boy for my ladies, but you know you ever get you you got a chin here, right? And you just pluck it. <laughs> you just pluck it and get rid of it. And two days that hair be coming back twice as long. <laughs> when you let toxic people go, you pull out that hair, I'm telling you, that's how you gonna grow. You gonna come shooting up. You gonna just be there. Okay? So and no matter how many times you pull that hair, you know that same hair, ladies, it be coming right back. You be like, <laughs> it be growing. That's how you gonna grow. So sometimes we stuck and we 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 we, we kind of can't grow because we holding on. We holding on the baggage. We holding on the poop. We holding on to to one ended relationships. And y'all y'all gotta understand. God see that. He see a little bit more than what you seeing. So he holding back your jewels. He like, let me hold these blessings. I thought I had something real quick. I, I don't, but he, oh, I do got a little, I got a little marbles here. You know what I mean? See, see, see this glass? These are all of your blessings that God is holding. All right. We're going we're gonna to just take this out real quick. Come on. I'm going to let y'all see this. Because I think I need y'all to be real, real with me. All right. The glass is God. The marbles are your blessings. Okay, so God sit around. He looking. He like. Let me see what. Let me see what sis doing. Let me see what bro doing. Okay, give a little blessing. He gonna. He gonna give you a little. He gonna give you a little one. You know what I mean? Like, all right, they go one. Okay, I see that good deed. So he like, all right, here two. All right, but I can't. I can't give you too much. You know, cause he got a. He got a jar full of blessings for you, baby. <laughs> the Lord said. <laughs> He said, baby, this this got your name on it, okay? This this say your name, all right? And he got a jar full of blessings, but 
as long as you holding on to stuff that don't deserve your blessings, the Lord going to hold my glass. He going to just be walking around like this. Giving you one little bit at a time. One little bit at a time. But when you start letting people go, oh baby, he start pouring. Okay? The Lord start pouring blessings. Pouring blessings. Did he, did, he, did he watch what you do? You know what I'm saying? He's like, let me see. Let me see. You know, he watching what you do with them blessings. Okay? And if you keep, you know, growing and growing and growing, eventually, okay, you're going to have you gonna have a, a bucket full of blessings that you ain't even going to know what to do with. And once he get a blessing, he don't take it back. Okay? He, he can't take back a blessing. We don't, we don't take back blessings. But... Understand, guys, that is how the Lord works when you're doing what you need to do. When he starts seeing you do good, he starts dropping marbles in your bowl, baby. Marbles in your bowl, marbles in your bowl. And sometimes he pour out or sometimes he give you little droplets. Because sometimes he got he to gotta just show you like, hey, I'm still dropping. But I'm waiting for you to start, I'm waiting for you to start dropping the, the negative toxic people out of your life. He said, because you you sharing all these blessings with people who, who don't even support you. You sharing your blessings, you spreading, you spreading your blessings, and you working hard, and they not even working for it. Look how hard you work for that marble. And you gonna just hand it around after being mistreated. You get what I'm saying? And, and, and just how he holding your blessings because you holding on to toxicity. What you what you think he doing with that toxic person? They jaw stay full of their whole lifespan. So you know what he do when your when your jaw get low, he take blessings right out of their jaw and put them in yours. Okay, <laughs> he like they they ain't making no change. So the Lord got a lot of blessings to give. Okay, he got a whole lot to give because the people not getting it, y'all. I'm sorry, I hate to be the one to break the news, but. People ain't getting it. They not doing the work that you doing. They not making the shifts that you making. You deserve what you get because you making effort. You tired, but you getting up. You lazy, but you at the gym. You hungry, you meal prepping. You, you have a giving heart. You see someone succeeding, you congratulating, not hating. All of that deserves rewards. It deserves rewards. So don't feel bad about being blessed. And don't be don't feel bad about receiving a blessing. Because just how you got a blessing, that person could get a blessing too. But you can't be you can't expect to be blessed if you got mess. And if that person is, is toxic and holding you down, they got some work to do. And you can't do the work for them. A lot of times we think we could just do the work for people and they're going to get the same results you get. No. Just how I got on these two feet. And I got, I use these hands. And I use this mind. It's, it's, you could do the same thing. You can make a way. Maybe they have some struggles. I'm sure you have some troubles. We all got struggles and troubles, baby. No one's troubles is, is bigger than anyone else's. Sometimes we get confused and wrapped up and we think that, oh, well, it's not as bad. No. Bad is bad. And good is good. Bad is bad and good is good. So if you got through some bad times... And you go through daily struggles, but you still make an effort. That is what matters. It's about the effort. You get blessed by your effort. Not about uh, how many followers you got. It's not about that. It's about the consistency. It's about the effort. It's about the passion. It's about the position of your heart. You give without being, you know what I mean, cheap. You giving, but you mad you giving. 
That ain't no effort. You ain't make no change in your brain. When you give, you got to be giving just because you have overflow. Sometimes we, we giving and we sitting around like, okay, come on. I gave. You, you keeping tally marks. Okay, I gave Jimmy. You floating, your, you floating out your good deeds. You making sure everybody see it. Good deed, hey. The Lord see the good deed you do in your heart. You don't need, you don't need to show it. It's there. It's about, that's what some of us don't understand. Is we so busy trying to prove a point to somebody. We don't need to prove ourselves to anybody. Or any app. There's no app that needs to validate what you're doing. You need to just be doing what you're doing because you, your, your heart and your mind is in a, in, a, in a good place. Some of us is doing it for the wrong reasons and that's why when we wake up, we're not happy. That's how when we wake up, we get jealous. Start shifting your start, start shifting that energy. Okay? Stop always expecting. Stop always trying to take. Sometimes we just be rad, we just be trying to. I told you. You don't need to be out there expecting because your glass already got its name on it, baby. Yours. And the only person that, that is holding the glass is, 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 is the Lord Himself. Nobody else got your glass. <laughs> no one else could get it. It's impossible. How you get my glass? You don't even know where the Lord put it. <laughs> so nobody got your glass. You know what I'm saying? Metaphor. Metaphor. Okay. <laughs> All right, God. I told y'all I had something. I had something good for y'all. I made y'all wait. And I promise y'all it was worth the wait. Because, honey, you got to get your marbles. But in order to get your marbles... You got to start doing the work. Watch this video twice, baby. One more, one more time. Because I know you're sitting there with your jaw open. Okay, closey. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Coach Amelia Adair here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for supporting me all the time. I appreciate the love. Okay. And don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, book you a session, email me. We got to start investing in ourselves. And sometimes it's people that can help us get to where we got to go, but we can't be so frugal. <laughs> All right. Coach Amelia, see here. And I will see you guys at my next video. Bye for now.